one of the things that I would always, I always hear my grandmother in the back. She said, she would always say, if you want to hear the Lord speak, read the word. And amen. And I'm like, really? Because I grew up with King James version. <clears throat> So it's kind of hard reading the word, like these are thou, you know. Um, and sometimes it still comes out at times, which is beautiful, you know. Um, but I think um, as I've walked with the Lord all these past few years, um, just making the priority to encounter him every day, what it looks like. Maybe one day may look different from the next and realizing that it's okay. Uh, one day maybe being able to sit in his presence and not even say anything, uh, which allow him to pour his love on you. Another day may be um, prayer, you know, um, petitioning. Um, other day may just be him asking you, uh, it may be um, a first thought that you wake up in the morning and you're like, why do I feel this urge to like go for a walk this morning? Um, it could be the Holy Spirit. Um, and the question is like, if it's the Holy Spirit, you know, if you obey that, what would happen? Um, what will you lose if you go for a walk that morning? Um, and, and so it was just like the little nudges of things over time like that. Hey, like go for a walk. Hey, stay here for a moment. You know, hey, pray for this person that may come in mind uh, one time. Um, and one situation happened where um, I was, I was at work and all of a sudden I felt anxiety. I really don't, at the season, I really didn't really deal with anxiety that much, but it just came, it overcame me a lot. Um, and I was like, whoa, this this came out of nowhere. I'm not, nothing on, like, there was no onset to this. Nothing caused this. What is this? And um, oh, I thought the Holy Spirit was like, hey, like, this is someone else. And I was like, okay. So I just started praying. And literally, my friend's name popped up in my spirit. Um, someone said, in their mind, in my mind as well. I saw his name. Like, I literally, you know, you think about something, I see his name. And I was like, Okay, so I just start praying. I literally start praying. I'm like, I'm crying. I, I'm like, what is happening? Am I getting delivered or something? I don't know what's going on. Um, all of a sudden, it just, I feel like it kind of like lifts. So I felt peace after praying. I go to my desk. Um, I text him, and I was like, hey, I don't know what's going on, but I'm thinking about you. You're on my mind. You're on my spirit. Um, I'm praying for you. Literally, he texts back. He's like, bro. I needed this because I'm going through like this anxiety attack. And I was like, thank you, Holy Spirit. Like I would have never known um, of that if it wasn't for his presence. Um, and so, yeah, there may be little nudgings of the Holy Spirit. Like I, there's a scripture where it talks about um, he'll be like a whisper behind you and telling you this is the way walk in it. No, this is the way walk in it. And that's how I see relationship with the Holy Spirit is that he's there. Sometimes the, the finest whisper um, just asking you, nudging you to go this way or go that way or maybe sit or stay. So it's kind of.